Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the preview. My name is Matt Klein. Today is Monday, April 15th, and tomorrow is April 16th, Tuesday, Game 4, Tampa Bay, Columbus. Today, I'm going to talk about what has happened to Tampa Bay and why are they on the brink of elimination and it hasn't even been a week. For those of you who have not been notified or keeping track, but the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs were supposed to be Tampa's year. And a lot of people had Tampa Bay winning this year, the Stanley Cup. And the only thing that I can really think of right now, just looking at the last few games, looking at perhaps is it chemistry issues? Is it perhaps their defense? What is happening? Is it Columbus? the team who is clearly upsetting the best team, the President's Trophy winners, Columbus has found some holes in their system that Tampa Bay had no one to challenge them in the regular season. Tampa Bay is coming off of a 62-win season, a history season for them. They tied the 1996 Detroit Red Wings for most wins in a season. Nikita Kucherov, 128 points. That is the most by a, by a Russian ever. A career year for Nikita Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I know for a fact that that is in the back of their heads that this is just another game. But the Tampa Bay Lightning have not lost three consecutive games all season. That has never happened. And suddenly, all of a sudden, right now it's happening. They won 62 out of 82 games, and now they've dropped three in a row. This is not the team that we have been seeing. Personally, for me, this is a very difficult situation to be in. But I want to start by saying I'm happy. I have been a Tampa Bay Lightning fan since 2010. And if they are to lose, I'm, I want them to lose now. Instead of in the finals again, like in 2015 when they lost to the Chicago, Chicago Blackhawks in six games. I want them to lose now if they're going to lose. If there is something that they cannot fix, then they are going to lose. I think, and I'm sure that a lot of the world would also appreciate if they were to come back, storm back in Columbus. Obviously not fans in Ohio. Obviously, people that have put in a lot of money, now that the bracket challenge is more of a reigning media sort of a way that we have attracted ourselves more in a different perspective to the playoffs. Everyone wanted Tampa Bay to win. Did they really want them to win? I want them to win. But right now, there is only one option, and that is to win. And I want to think that coach John Cooper was sending the exact same message that he will tomorrow that he did last game that you have to win because if you don't this is the end but thinking about that and not being caught up in your own personal achievements Nikita Kucherov taking that terrible terrible penalty which was the most stupid thing I've ever seen doing that to your team I understand you're down five one you're gonna lose Come back in game three. Instead, you had to get yourself suspended for that. That puts the entire team out of a line. Now, there's one more game left. And you know, this year might be one of those years like in 2012, when New Jersey was sixth seed, LA was eighth seed, and they met in the Stanley Cup final. Next season, I'm not going to care about the regular season at all. Tampa Bay makes the playoffs great. That's what we want. Now focus on the postseason. That's what I've been thinking about for the last month. Teams like St. Louis have actually learned something about themselves this season. That's why they have been able to grow. And they were the worst team in the National Hockey League. And now they're one of the most expected teams to win the Stanley Cup because they saw two sides of themselves. Tampa Bay has not seen that at all until now and it might just be too late it's frustrating to see them like this and tampa bay as a team as my myself a student who hopes to be a professional one day has to see this and think there isn't a bias there cannot be a bias i have to stand here and say to tampa bay that i want the best outlook in the national hockey league I want you to succeed. 
I want the best, the team. I was so happy last year when Alex Ovechkin won the Stanley Cup because that is what that is what drives me and grips me to sports to see something like that to see a player go through years and years 15 seasons until he can finally host the Stanley Cup the emotion the moments in that that is what drives this sport to me that is why I care and that is the only reason that a lot of us tune in to watch these games and spend hours, and spend money, and spend all kinds of things, sacrifice for this game. Because there's a lot more going on here. At the end of the day, it's just a game. But our attitude, and our behavior, there was so much more going on. I just hope that Tampa Bay wins. I have to congratulate John Tortorella if they don't win. And my goodness, would he deserve, would him and the coaching staff and the entire roster just, my goodness, I am going to stand and applaud you when you win because you deserved it.